in its rich gilded frame, it looks like an old master painting, but of course it excites me because it's made of pottery. What do you know about it? Well, I don't know a great deal. Uh, my mother bought it, I think in Suffolk, in, uh, in the 50s maybe, or early 60s, and uh, I inherited it when she died, and it's now hanging in my bed. Let's come to you that way. Yes. <laughs> but I feel sure there must be a story behind it, John. Yes. Well, the image here is St. Joseph with the infant Jesus. I mean, it's terribly difficult to paint on Maiolica. That's the Italian name for pottery. And the detail there is really quite incredible. This painter really knew what he was doing. So it is exciting to notice at the side there that it's signed. Yes, yes. And we've got the uh, initials and signatures. So it, it seems to read there, Dr. Gouet P. And then a date beneath that, 1735. And do you think that's genuine? Well, it all fits in because um, Dr. Gouet would be Francesco Antonio Gouet who was a, a great painter working in Italy at that time, at Castelli, um, just right. north of Naples and Rome there, and uh, famous for painting pottery plaques. And uh, the Gruet family had the best workshop there, and uh, Dr. Gruet, uh, Francesco, was the, the senior painter. 1735 is when he was doing some of his best plaques. Oh, good, getting better. If I can just tip it from the back there, can you look inside the frame there? We can just see hidden there yeah. is a little yellow band which it should have. Oh, it's right. tucked away, but oh, yes. it's not cut down. It's all there under the frame. So it worried me that this is just the middle of something. Yeah. But instead, it's the whole block that he's painted there. So 1735. In a way, that's late for Italian Maiolica. The great piece is a century older. But this is by a master, and it's signed. So that all adds up quite a bit. How exciting. So, what should we say? Oh, £4,000? No. No! Oh, oh whoopee! <laughs>